Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about deciles. But before that, let's have a review. Question. How many parts does a quartile divide the distribution of a set of data? Answer. The distribution is divided into four equal parts. Question. Where is the location of the first quartile? The first quartile is located between the lowest score, that is LS, and the second quartile. Now remember that the second quartile is the median or it's in the middle of um, the lowest and the highest score. So yung location ng ating first quartile is uh, nasa gitna siya ng lowest score at ng middle quartile. Question number three. Where is the location of the third quartile? Looking at this illustration, okay, ang ating third quartile ay located between the second quartile or yung middle quartile natin and the highest score. Yun yung HS. Question. What is the other term used for the third quartile? Answer is the upper quartile. Question number five. Where is the location of the second quartile? So yung ating second quartile is found between the lowest score and the highest score. Sometimes tinatawag din siyang median, okay? And then middle quartile, yung tawag din sa kanya. Okay, let's discuss about deciles. Okay, let's go to its definition muna. So, deciles divides the whole distribution into 10 equal parts. So, kung yung yellow part na yan is your whole distribution, hinahati niya yan into 10 equal parts. At yung makikita yung line that separates yung distribution natin, yung mga gap, ito yun. Um, let me just show this to you. So, itong mga gaps na yan, or yung mga lines na yan, nandyan yung location ng ating mga deciles. So, there are 9 deciles. So, this is D sub 1, or the first decile. 10% siya ng distribution. This is decile 2, or the second decile, which is the 20%. Ito namang D sub 3 is 30% ng distribution. This is D sub 4, 40%. D sub 5, ito yung pinaka-center. So, similar din siya sa ating uh, median or yung middle quartile. D decile 5 is equal to 50% of the distribution. So, decile 6, 6th decile. The 7th decile is 70%. Decile 8 or the 8th decile is the uh, it's uh, it's 80% ng distribution natin and then decile 9 is the 90% nine, uh, ng distribution. How do you solve for the deciles of ungrouped data? Now remember, ungroup pa lang yung dinidiscuss natin today and when you say at ungroup, hindi tayo gumagamit ng uh, frequency distribution table. Meron lang tayong list ng numbers. So, how do we solve for the deciles? Okay, step 1, arrange the scores from lowest to highest. Step 2, find the location or position of the quartile. So, hindi siya naiiba dun sa previous discussion natin ng quartiles of ungrouped data. So, dito, paghahanapin mo yung location ng um, ating decile, you need to memorize yung formula. D sub K is equal to K times N plus 1 over 10. At yung K, papalitan mo yan kung anong decile yung hinahanap mo. So, if you're looking for decile 3, so yung formula mo ay D sub 3 is equal to 3 times N plus 1 divided by 10. 
O kaya kung hinahanap mo yung position or kung nasaan ba si D sub 6 or D sub 6. So, D sub 6 is equal to 6 times N plus 1 over 10. And then, uh, kapag ang position niya ay eksaktong number, walang decimal, okay, bibilangin mo na lang yung kung nasaan yung um, decile na yun. Pero pag may decimal, okay, ang gagawin mo is yung step number 3. So, for step number 3, sabi dyan, you get the uh, first observation plus the difference of the second and the first observation. Tapos, multiply mo siya sa decimal numbers na galing dun sa position. Okay, after that, you solve. Let's have this example. So, let's look for the third decile. So, yung numbers natin is already arranged in ascending order. Hanapin na natin yung position ng third decile. So, if we're looking for d sub 3, so ang formula natin ay d sub 3 is equal to 3 times n plus 1 over 10. So, yung n natin is 9 kasi from 13 hanggang 30, 9, 9 lahat yung numbers na yan. So, magiging 9 plus 1, dito tayo, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. 10 times 3 is 30. 30 divided by 10 is equal to 3. So, ang position ng ating third decile is nasa third number lang siya. So, walang whole number dito. So, hindi ka na mag-i-interpolate. So, yung third number na yung diretsyong sagot. And that is 21. So, the third decile is 21. Let's go to the sixth decile. So, the, the numbers again are arranged in ascending order. So, since we're going to look for the 6 decile, so, ang formula sa paghanap ng position is d sub 6 is equal to 6 times n plus 1 over 10. Okay, so, 9 pa rin yung numbers natin. That's your n, n plus 1. So, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. 10 times 6 is 60. 60 divided by 10 is 6. So, yung nasa 6th position, yun ang ating decile. So, bilangin mo from 13, yung pang anim that is your 6th decile. And that's 26. So, yung 6th decile is 26. So, this time, let's solve for the 7th decile. Again, the number should be arranged in ascending order. Hanapin natin yung position ng 7th decile. So, that will be d sub 7 is equal to 7 times n plus 1 over 10. Okay, by the way, since decile tayo ha, ang denominator na natin ay 10, 10, 10 dyan. Okay? So, n plus 1 magiging 9 plus 1 yun because there are 9 numbers dun sa ating list. So, 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 times 7, 70 divided by 10, 7. So, 7th number daw yung ating decile. Yung ating 7th decile. So, pag binilang mo, pang 7 ay si 28. So, our 7th decile is 28. So, yung mga nauna nating examples, yung position na tinutukoy natin dito, like the 7th, eksakto. Pero pag yan ay nagkaroon ng decimal number, kailangan mo nang mag-interpolate. Just like in the next example. Okay, in this example, um, we are asked to look for the second decile. So, to look for the position muna of the second decile, okay, we are going to use d sub 2 is equal to 2 times n plus 1 over 10. And then, you get yung n, ilan bang numbers from 10 to 30? That's 11. So, for solve na natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 11 plus 1, that's going to be 12. 12 times 2 divided by 10 is equal to 2.4. So, notice na yung ating um, position dito ay 2.4. So, ibig sabihin, kung 2.4 yan, nasa gitna ng second at saka ng third na number. So, second and third number ay 11 and 13. So, mag interpolate na tayo dito. So, kung natatandaan, okay, you have second observation, that's 11, 
At yung third observation natin ay si 13. So, second observation is 11 plus uh, third observation is 13 minus 11 times natin sa 0 0.4. So, saan ang galing yung decimal number dito na 0 0.4? Dito sa position natin. Dito siya manggagaling. So, let's use the formula. Solve natin yung 13 minus 11 muna. That will give us 2. And then, multiply 2 and 0 0.4. That will give us 0 0.8. Plus 11 is 11.8. So, meaning, yung ating second decile is equal to 11.8. Okay, let's solve for the 8th decile in this example. And remember, all the numbers should be arranged from lowest to highest. So, we have 10 up to 30. Now, hanapin natin yung position muna ng 8th decile. So, we're looking for d sub 8. That's going to be equal to 8 times n plus 1 over 10. So, yung n natin, 11. Kasi from 10 to 30, 11 numbers yan. So, 11 plus 1 is 12. 12 times 8 is 96. 96 divided by 10 is equal to 9.6. So, ang posisyon ng 8 decile natin, makikita natin sa 9.6 daw. So, nasa gitna siya ng 9 at saka 10th na number. So, nasa gitna ni 29 at ni 29. So, mag-interpolate na tayo. So, ninth observation natin is si 29 plus yung 10th observation natin si 29 pa rin minus 9th observation, 29 pa rin times 0 0.6. So, kung susundan na natin yung, isa-substitute na natin yung value, so magiging 29 plus 29 minus 29 times 0 0.6. Solve nyo na sa loob ng parenthesis, 29 minus 29 is 0, 0 times 0 0.6 is 0 pa rin, plus 29, so ang sagot, ang value ng ating 8 decile is 29. Let's go to interpreting the results. So, in statistics kasi, hindi lang tayo basta-basta nagko-compute. Dapat alam natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng numbers na yun. So, how do we interpret yung results? D sub 3 is equal to 17. Means that 30% of all the data has a value that is less than or equal to 17. So, kung yan ay mga scores, ibig sabihin 30% daw ng mga batang nag-take ng test ay may score na 17 at pababa. D sub 2 is equal to 11.8 means that 20% of all the data has a value that is less than or equal to 11.8. And for the last example, D sub 7 is equal to 28 means that 70% of all the data has a value that is less than or equal to 28. So again, if this is a test score, okay, sabi dyan, ibig sabihin, 70% daw ng lahat ng nag-take ng scores, uh, sorry, ng test na yon ay may score na 28 at pababa. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.